need to create a vignette. I'm going to show you two techniques for doing a vignette. Firstly, I'm just going to uh, scroll up the fast color corrector and I'm going to create black video. Now to do that, you go down to the create new items button down here. You click on it and you go down to black video. Click black video and it says, do you want the black video to be exactly the same size as the footage you've already used in your sequence? Yes, of course we do, so we click OK. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to take that black video and drop it on the layer above, so on video 2, above our footage, so actually not, not showing our footage at all. And then we can pull it out all the way so that it extends the whole range of our shot. So we can't actually see anything, but don't worry, we're going to add effects that are going to reveal it. The effect that we want is the circle effect. So where we got fast down here, we must make sure that we exit off or else we'll never find circle. So X off what's in there and I want you to start typing circle. So C-I-R-C -C, and you'll see it's down there. It's the only one that's come up. Generate circle. So grab hold of circle and drop it on the black video layer and let go. And what you see you have is actually a white circle. So it didn't pay any attention to the color of the video. The black video is ignored and it just created a white circle. How are we going to use that? Well, let's open up the circle in our effects control panel. So you open up circle and the first thing we want to do is we want to invert the circle. So if we click invert the circle, suddenly we've got a little hole and a big white bit around it. And actually we want to change that white bit to black. So actually I'm just going to click on it and click on the black screen or I could have gone to the color picker and just chosen black doesn't matter either way we've now ended up with black and then we need to start to increase the radius now this is hot text yellow text is hot text and as you can see as I hover my mouse over it I get this finger with the arrow going one way or the other if I click and hold and pull to the right I'm going to increase the radius of the circle until it gets to a point where it's pretty much in, shown around the whole of the action now double check by pulling your current time indicator through the action to make sure that it's all included within the circle which it is it's all the important actions included in the circle so that's the basis of a vignette but obviously it's far too obvious you don't want a vignette to be obvious you want to take people's attention away from the side but if you leave it like that you're basically saying look at what we're doing which is not what we want so we actually want to make this almost invisible but still there and we do that with this area here called feather so open up the feather control and now again with the hot text click and drag out sideways and you'll see it starts to feather the edge of our footage quite significantly and keep going keep going I know I'm going up to best part of 400 here 399 now the other thing we can do if we still think it's too obvious is we can also turn down the opacity and you can dial the opacity down to zero so it's disappeared but we just want it there enough to take people's attention away from these edges. So I'm going to go for, let's try 64%. Now let's have a look at that. Now I can do before or after by simply turning off the black video layer. So turn off the layer, and that's what it looked like before. Turn it back on, and that's how it looks now. Off, on, off, on. So that's how we can create a vignette around the shot. I did say I'd show you one other way. So I'm going to scroll up the circle and I'm going to turn off the FX there. I'm going to show you a much more complex way of doing it. And I'm going to go again into my effects panel down here and I'm going to X off because I want to see everything. And I'm going to start typing 8, E, I, G, H. And as I get to H, you'll see down here that I've got something that says video effects keying, eight point garbage mat. And I want you to click and grab that and drop it on your black video. And then I want you to open up eight point garbage mat in your effects control panel and click on the word eight point garbage mat or on this little icon to the side of it and when you do so you'll notice that you get these eight points okay now what we're going to do with these eight points is we're going to play around to actually see if we can get rid of the problem footage so I'm going to pull this one up and I'm going to pull this one down you'll see what I'm going to do in a minute I'm going to pull this one up. I'm going to again do the same sort of thing. I'm going to pull this one up. I'm going to pull this one down. Pull that to about there. That to about there. To about there. There. So I've created a custom shape around my footage. 
that looks about right. Uh, I might pull these ones out just a tad to give myself a little bit of space on the edge. And I'm now going to apply another effect. I'm going to select my black video and I'm going to write the word fast again, F-A-S-T, but this time I'm not going to go for the fast color corrector. I'm going to go for the fast blur. I'm going to grab the fast blur and drop it on top of the black video. And then I'm going to open the fast blur. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click repeat edge pixels. Now if I leave it off and I start increasing the blurriness, look what happens. Start pulling it out and can you see the edges start to be pulled in and you can start seeing the edges. If I click repeat edge pixels it keeps it at the edge and I can start pulling out my blur quite considerably blurring it and then seeing it's still too bright this is a more complex approach but it works very well I need to go up to the opacity tab and my effects control drop down opacity and reduce the opacity so that it's just there 29% 30% 35% 40% right now if we turn the layer on and off again we can see how effective it is that's before and that's after before and after. Now that's a much more custom shape which is framing the action and pulling people in rather than the circle effect which is slightly harder to control. And there is actually a 16 point garbage mat if you actually want to get even more complicated than the 8 point garbage mat. But you can see what we've done. There's a vignette, there's before and after, before and after. So we've gone from, if I now select my close contact and turn off fast colour, we've gone from that to our fast colour corrector, that and then adding in our vignette that and we've created something that's much much more viewable we've actually saved the shot now in the next tutorial I'm going to be looking at this wretched bucket down here and seeing how we can color correct just the bucket so that the bucket can be desaturated without affecting most of the rest of the shot so that the shot stays the same and we lose the attention that this bucket is drawing and we can keep our eyes on the actors well, I'm Andrew Davis. I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.